This is dedicated to the niggas that was down from day one. Welcome to Death Row. What is going on, folks? It's Aaron the Hammer Haynes. And um, I'm proud to uh, bring you this next video. We're going to take a look at another wine tasting and review. The Death Row Records sparkling wine here limited edition so um i've done the other um uh wine tasting video um the red wine um last year and they came out with a second uh uh second version of their uh, wine it's a california sparkling wine um obviously death row records uh the snoop dog death row records um now um I got this uh, a couple days ago, maybe a few days ago. Um, I had to put it in the fridge uh, to make sure it was cold. I guess you put wine in the fridge. I'm not really a wine drinker, but um, we're gonna taste this, um, see what it's all about. And yeah, I give you my honest opinion. And um, all I know about it is that it's a California sparkling wine. Um, Snoop Dogg approved, uh, the Dog Pound approved. Um, and I'm gonna give you my taste test. Got my chalice here, so we can start drinking some wine. I know, early in the morning, but let's open this up. All right, here we go. Let's open this up. Okay. Bear with me because I don't open up wine bottles too often. Maybe once in like a gray moon or something. So. There we go. Now again. All right. Okay, here. Let's see here. Uh huh. Give me a second to figure this out. Ah, right there. Pull tab. I think. Twist tab, I'm sorry. <laughs> Boom. I'm learning, you're learning. Okay. I'll file that off to the side. that pop right there didn't even need to use a my device here so great that thing just pops right off so obviously as the name implies sparkling wine so there's gonna be a little bit of crisp to it I got my drinking chalice right here we're gonna pour some right now A little bit more there. Bear with me because I don't really know how to pour wine. But give it a little taste here. Definitely has that wine taste. Bittersweet. A little sour. I really, I really don't know what you look for in wine. I'm gonna be straight up honest with you. I bought this because it said Death Row Records on it. And you know, definitely like to get a little bit crunk. But man, great tasting wine. For somebody who doesn't drink wine ever. <laughs> I can tell you that much here. Um, the second Death Row Records uh, wine, limited edition. Will I ever drink this again? Probably not. If they make a third Death Row Records wine, they'll definitely check that out. But yeah, I mean, makes a great gift. If you already bought one for Father's Day, 
makes a great gift, um, birthday gift. Um, maybe if you want, hold on to it for another anniversary or a Christmas present. Definitely a great, you know, perfect for any um, body who's a, uh, a wine drinker or anybody who likes good hip hop music. Um, but yeah, Death Row Records, uh, sparkling wine. I don't know what else to say. I'm going to drink a little bit more. Cheers. Um, all I know is they were making um, people vote for the next Death Row Records wine. And uh, I think it was inspired by gin and juice. I'm not sure. But um, it's nice. Um, it's definitely a... Uh, Definitely has a nice uh, crisp to it. Um, I think uh, alcohol, twelve percent alcoholic volume level. So you can really, if you drink, I want to drink this all in one day, and I want to drink this all in one setting. Share it with a friend, share it with the family who can drink. And um, yeah, just uh, all for all you wine lovers, for all you hip hop fans, um, cheers. Um, this is a great product. Um, go visit Death Row Records Wine and um, go pick up a bottle because it's limited edition. Um, all I can say is, um, what a great tasting wine for somebody who doesn't drink wine uh, that all or that often, really. Um, and you don't even need your special tool that you usually need to open wine bottles. So let me pour a little bit more. I don't know. Let me know what you think about this. Um, if you've tried it or if you want to try it. And let me know what you think about the new, uh, well, the recent Death Row Records um, that Snoop Dogg is putting out. I know I've touched on this topic a little bit, but um, I know people are very touchy about the new Death Row Records that um, Snoop Dogg is, you know, hosting or in charge of. Uh, but, uh, man, it is what it is. I mean, it, you got the 90s Death Row Records. That was the... Uh, that was the core of it all. And, um, hold on, just give me a second. You know, and you got the new Death Row Records. And recently they um, added a mariachi singer to the uh, roster or a regional Mexican uh, ranchera. I'm not sure what kind of style that is. So it's kind of mixed reviews. Uh, People hate it. People don't like it. Um, people think it's a great venture that they're, you know, adding diverse music to the roster. Well, you know, but people like the old Death Row. Some people are okay with the new Death Row. I'm okay with all Death Row Records um, incarnations. Um, obviously, the Suge Knight and Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg and Tupac, you know, incarnation of Death Row, the first one. Can't top that. Uh, you know, and then you got the Daz Dillinger death row. You know, late 90s. Um, and then you got the uh, corrupt death row. 2000s. And now you got the Snoop Dogg death row. So, um, and let me know what you think about Suge Knight. <laughs> Not really down with the new death row records. And uh, let me know. Um, what do you think about the all this merch drop? And... And to think that Death Row is just a merch drop. Um, but, you know, I think that's the direction it was going in kind of really um, wine. <laughs> All kinds of, you know, shirts and joggers and um, jackets. And, and I still haven't gotten that uh, Happy Dad Death Row jacket and uh, sweatpants that I've been waiting for. So I'm going to give another month, see what happens. Otherwise, I'm going to... Go to the trusty old Crooks and Castles, excuse me, Death Row uh, merchandise, pick up.
pick up something there, get my money back. Nothing against Happy Dad, I mean, but hey man, the merch, <laughs> their merch um, department is lagging. But yeah, I mean, this is great. Death Row Records Sparkling Wine. Another addition to the Death Row Records wine family, if you want to call it that. But yeah, it's great. I mean, bittersweet, sour aftertaste, not too sour. Nice little kick. 10% um, alcohol at the volume level, I believe. I mean, what more? 12%, uh, I'm sorry. What more can you ask for? Um, this is a great um, drink for the party, uh, for the yacht, for chilling in the crib. Sorry. For blasting your all your Death Row Records music while you sip on this. Um, yeah, uh, like I said, I've been listening to all Death Row Records playlists. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of great records on that um, on that playlist. Trust me. Um, aside from the usual, um, yeah, this is great. Uh, I don't know what else to say. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Death Row Records, sorry, Death Row Records, sparkling wine. Get it now. The price is hot. Um, it's not a bad price for a bottle of wine. Limited edition, 12% alcoholic volume level. Um, nice kick to it. I know I've said that so many times already on this video, so I'll just shut the fuck up. Um, 21 and older can only watch this video, so. I'm gonna put a, a, a strict age limit on this uh, video, but I can already feel the buzz. Um, don't drink this all in one day. Uh, yeah, share it with the family, share it with a friend. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, and uh, keep on listening to your Death Row Records uh, playlist music. See you in the next one.